Let's get some 8-8s. Eight Let's get some 8-8s. Eight eight. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some thralls to start the day off. Uh, it's our Saturday stream. We got three cool decks today. Uh, two viewer submitted ones, including this one. We're going to be playing some Frozen Thralls. It's been a while since we have. Pretty interesting, uh, unique Frozen Thrall deck list here. We're going to have all three of the five drops that are awesome that help our countdown to the Draclor Inquisitor, the Preservationist, and the Talia that copies. But the person, Aroas, who made the deck, uh, doesn't really like having three Talias. Thinks it just kind of gets too clogged up there uh, in the five mana slot. So we got one Zillion actually is just an early blocker they can get us some time bombs help predict to see whatever we need during the game you know good little champion there so that's pretty interesting we've got one soothsayer instead of right of negation uh to be more proactive in protecting your landmarks so another interesting little choice there and give you a blocker instead of the right of negation with for the spells so we'll see how that plays out um, but besides that, you know, just a lot of Frozen Thrall type stuff. And so that's going to be our most important card to see in our opener is this Frozen Thrall is going to be what we are going to be looking for. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some Thralls. We're going to go play our five games in ranked. Let's get our record back up here. There we go. Yeah, we're going to be playing some ranked today. With that, then we got Nami Lux and Tristana Poppy. All right. It was a fake gangplank. So we're hard mulliganing for Frozen Thrall. Yeah, I found one. So pretty easy deck to mulligan with. Gotta find Frozen Thrall. Then after that, then you can decide other stuff. Frozen Thrall, most important. So I'm telling you, it always does the 3-2. Like, if you have 3-2-1 with your champions, it'll list them from left to right. I'm, like, pretty positive in that. So we had 3 Lissandra, 2 Talia, 1 Zillion. So whenever you whenever you play against a deck with three champions, if it's three, two, one, it should be the three on the left, two in the middle, one on the right. But you don't actually know that because they could be playing two, two, two across the board, and then you know that's also something that happens. What's up, no deals? Yeah, it was a good opener. Hand didn't really get better. I'm playing that thinking that maybe they'll put more things into my avalanche, but maybe that's just like the wrong thing to play because then it avalanching after this. Like, maybe we should just, like, avalanche first. All fives. All fives. Oh, really? They would have just passed the round? I guess I should have just passed the round. I fear once they once they passed, I figured they didn't have a removal spell, but that was incorrect. Uh, let's go. I guess Inquisitor. Like we I, we need to play a blocker. I guess I could go Talia. Yeah, Talia. Um, yeah, Talia. Okay. If oh. I stumble, I have the earth to catch me. You get all that? Stand back. <laughs> I'm 
one mana short from playing Promising Future plus Draklorn. So if I would have traded with one of those things right now, we wouldn't have the impact. Like this impact is is a big problem. Deal me in. Yeah, and they're doing that for another point of damage. That's that puts me down to four. This is three, two, one. Just like one puff cap kills me. We're gonna need some Nexus healing. Or Lissandra would have been nice for the tough Nexus. Good, no puff caps. We're down to one. Yeah, we need one more Nexus healing card. Alright. Another Tavern Keeper, Lissandra, Blighter Ravine. Draven Katarina. I I want a full mulligan for Frozen Thrall normally, but I kind of, like, you know, this looks definitely like a really, you know, again, aggressive deck. I kind of want to keep this Tavern Keeper. I think I'm going to. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I need just full mulligan for the Frozen Thrall. We play in bilge rules, son. Watch this. All right, hopefully they, hopefully it's like Draven on top. They burn from Pool Shark. Oh my gosh, it was Mirai Warden on top? They just got a free Mirai Warden for round two? Live in the dream. Wow. Alright, I like the Bladder Ravine. Get bloody, get paid. Where do you stand on cold shots? Lissandra. All right, there's there's a frozen thrall. Danger paid. Do I want to trade Lissandra for Jaw Hunters? I guess I guess we have to, because like if I pass here, they're they're passing. At least they should. I could play Flash Freeze. I don't know if I really want to do that. Promising Future and Tavern Keeper this next round. Probably don't have to, Talia. Oh, I didn't see what card they burned. Because for some reason, they don't tell you over here. It came out super fast. Yeah, this is just Mirai Ward and Agra. I wish we had more Ice Shards. All right, so we're gonna have a lot of eight eights. Next round attacking. Point, I shoot. Don't stand in my way. So down to thirteen. Uh, down to nine. I don't think that's that big of a deal, but maybe it is.
That's a lot of eight eights. There we go. That's what our deck does. Get lots of eight eights. What a great day. Okay, so before we started playing, Aroa said that the toughest matchup is Zoe Nami. And unfortunately, that looks like that's Zoe Nami right in front of us. We're going to be looking for a Frozen Thrall. No. Frozen Thrall at the top. Well, unfortunately, they have their one mana champion. I do not have my one mana champion with my Frozen Thrall. Not looking good. There are so many landmarks with Countdown, it's gotta be really unlikely that this would have hit um, Frozen Thrall, right? It's gotta be. Ages past, yet I remain. Come to the cold. The cold creeps in. Those are two scary one drops. You know, one's elusive that we can't block. The other one can get really big and get even bigger than Lissandra. As far as one drops go, those are pretty scary. Frozen Thrall. The problem with playing Draclord Inquisitor right now is they could could get Equinox, and maybe they're even holding on to like Equinox. So I think I'm gonna go this route. Right. But then do I wanna just do I want to try to count down both of them and level them both up, or should I just go heavy on one? Surprise there. I might, might as well just do this because I'm wasting a mana if I don't. And we may need that extra mana with these things. So as... Aroa said this is one of our worst matchups, and it looks like they had a very good hand. But no. I can't even block. I want to block with something. I got, you know, I want to kill this so I can promising future the frozen through. Oh, we still, we just can't even. Can't even get two. Eight eights out. Our, we just don't have the we don't have the room for the two eight eights of course. Wow. 
Wow, they just have Divergent Pass in their deck because of all the landmarks these days. So not only is that our worst matchup, but then they also have tech against us to make it much, much worse. Wow. Alright, we have to be fast with Sejuani Gangplank. We are terrible. Come on, Frozen Thrall. Yes, finally. Hey, we're terrible at finding it. <laughs> Hamster Dump says, The tech makes no sense. Elusives beat Bandal Tree way before they complete their tree. I play that matchup a lot. Yeah, I couldn't... I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I... I mean, I guess it's possible that they have... A landmark? I guess? They got a Veil Temple, I guess? That's not that likely, but yeah, it, uh, I I understand. I feel like that's what Zoe Nami wants to face is Bandle Tree and Thralls. I feel like they'd be happy with those matchups. Okay, so what do I do here? Do we do we promising future up one of these, or do we need to get more cards and should I Preservarium? And you know, Preservarium save two spell mana. What do y'all think? Because I don't have any kind of defense available right now, and so should I look for some kind of defense with the Preservarium? Alright, chat says Preservarium, four cards. I mean... I would say that they're not going to destroy my landmarks, but... <laughs> we know anything's possible. Yeah, you don't want to Worries fall from us like water. <laughs> they were on the trick. You are not welcome. Alright, so that's at four. I think we need defense. Because, yeah, open attack is a problem. Alright, we'll go defense. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. Ooh. Those are both pretty awesome. Maybe for next round, anyway. I guess we take Talia. Alright, so while I could Promising Future this first, make it three, and then Talia so we get six, there's just no realistic way that we'd have room for six anyway. So let's just play the Talia as a blocker. There's some board space. One, two, three, four. Okay. Not long now. Let's get some eight eights. Let's get some 8 8s. Eight, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. I hope you like the number 8. It's just so many of them. Cool. Kill our Zillion. And, you know, not doing the Nexus damage. But that's game over anyway. There we go, GG's. 
Alright. So we've, we've done our thing twice. And not so much the other two times. Ooh. Poppy Ziggs with Noxus. It's going to be an interesting deck. Maybe like some House Spider over there. Okay, definitely keeping one Frozen Thrall. I think we probably keep the second Frozen Thrall also. Then we can have Avalanche on three. Time in a Bottle sounds cool. I think we just keep everything here. Ooh, yeah, they could be playing Scorched Earth. That's a good point. Where's my axe? I don't know. Did you check out, like, in the shed? It's usually where axes are. Check out the shed in the back. Avalanche! Ah, there's a trap! There's an avalanche coming down on that shed! It was a trap. Clockwork Curator. I'm thinking about having playing like Clockwork Curator on the six Frozen Thrall this round. Well, let's see. Yeah, make, making that one go down to four. See, Poppy just really likes Greek food and cannot find a good Greek restaurant anywhere. But today's the day. I find that Euro. Yeah, I think I'm going to go down. I think we're going to have like the six. Put that down to four. Ready, hammer. Clear up board space. Yeah, Day Dooley, yeah, we're playing It Takes Two. We're we're about halfway through the game so far, I think. Yeah, we're about halfway through the game. Ish. Playing it with, with my friend Boot. It's a lot of fun. So we're, we'll be doing that at 6.30 Eastern tonight, which is in about five and a half hours. So, you know, like, we're playing three decks a day. Then we'll have, like, two hours to get food. Uh, get n next video up on YouTube, all that kind of stuff. And then we'll be doing that stream tonight. Okay, so they have the attack token. Frostbite. Poppy? That sounds kind of cool. Get it? Frostbite? Sounds cool. Yeah, you got it. Uh, and I'll pass. Haha, <laughs> they concede. Alright, so I was going to use the two predicts and make this eight go down to four, so then we would have got another eight eight. That was my plan, was to play the two predicts. But you don't get to pass, see what they want to do. Alright, GG's. A nice 3-2 record with Thralls. Fun deck to play. Very fast games, too. Because these 8-8s just kill people right away. So this actually, I think this is a good rank-up deck because of how fast the games are. Maybe you get ran over, like the Zoe... Nami deck ran us over, or maybe you run them over like we did with the wins. It was basically, uh, you know, not really that close of games either way, <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, we had three games that we had Frozen Thrall on round one, right? And we were three zero in those games, right? I, th I think that's I think that's accurate. I could be wrong. I think we had three games with Frozen Thrall round one. We won all three, and two games where we didn't have Frozen Thrall on round one, and we were zero two in those two. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Um, so that's that's kind of the thing. Just send all your cards back for Frozen Thrall, except maybe against aggro you keep like a Tavern Keeper or something, or like maybe you have to keep like one Avalanche or Blight Ravine. I would never keep a second one of those. Maybe, but you got to find Frozen Thrall. Um, so there we go. That's some Thralls. Fast games, fun games, and not too difficult of a deck to play, especially once you play it a few times. You know, you'll you'll really get used to you know the different uh, play patterns and stuff, but not too difficult to play. So pretty easy one to pick up. So you're looking for a rank up deck that's fast 
and not too difficult to play and you're doing the same thing against everybody, try out some thralls. They're still going to be pretty good. All right, but that's it for this video. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of thralls these days. Let me know what you think of these card choices. Some Soothsayer, some Zillion. They actually did pretty good earlier against the Gangplank Sejuani, right? We just needed those two mana blockers in there instead of playing like third um, Talia that would have been too expensive or, uh, you know, Ride of Negation that would not have blocked for us. They actually did pretty good. So I liked them. So let me know what you think of the different card choices in the deck list. But that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.